What's up, YouTubers? It's time for another action movie review. Today, I'm going to review Night Watch. It's a Russian action fantasy thriller, and it was released in 2004. It came out in the United States in 2006. It's based on the first book in a series of watch novels by Sergei Lukyanenko. It was directed by Timur Bekmambetov. I'm sorry. If I pronounced their names wrong, I'm sorry. And, um, basically, the the plot centers around a ever, never-ending battle between good and evil. <laughs> Excuse me. The conflict is between two opposing forces and uh, a group lumped together called the Others. The Others are people who have unique supernatural abilities and they're divided into two general groups light others or dark others light others are the forces of good dark others are the forces of evil a long time ago they had a war but too many of them were getting killed so they created the truce the truce is that there would be no longer be a war but they would there would be checks and balances. In other words, they would they would watch each other to make sure that the truce isn't broken, to keep to keep the balance, basically. And so they created the watches. Night watch is the light others who walk around at night to make sure the dark others don't break the truce. And day watch is to maintain the balance during the day. And the and basically they supposedly keep the balance the movie centers around a guy named Anton who tries to make a pact with a witch to get back his wife who had left him and is pregnant supposedly with another man's child in the course of her doing the spell it's revealed she's a dark other a group of night watchers stop her during this uh, Anton goes into this realm called the gloom or twilight which only others can go to. Usually they go this go there during the first time where they discover their supernatural abilities. Unlike the book where he's a, a magician in the movie he's simply described as a seer. After this experience he becomes part of Night Watch reluctantly. And during the first moments of the movie he's drinking blood so he can track vampires. If if he you know takes up vampirism he'll help track vampires who are of course part of the dark others in the process he rescues this young boy named Igor from these two vampires and he kills one of them now use of deadly force is also forbidden if you kill another that breaks the balance so therefore the dark the day watcher trying to help the female vampire that wasn't killed try to eat the little boy and later on they find out the little boy is another but I don't want to give too much of the plot away I'll just let you guys watch it. At first, I saw movie posters for this, and um, I I really didn't hear anything about it. But I've recently checked the video out from my local library. And I have to say, I was pretty impressed by it. Uh, it I have never seen any Russian films until this one, and I have to say, this is really awesome. I wish they would bring more Russian film to the United States. Like I said before, is um. It's uh, loosely based on, from what I understand, the first part of the first book of the night, the Night Watch trilogy, which includes three other books: uh, Day Watch, Twilight Watch, and Dusk Watch. Uh, this this is the first movie is roughly the first part of the first book, and the second movie is pretty much, I guess the second part of the first book and the the next film that will be released will revolve around I think the last part of the book I'm not sure overall the action was really good and the special effects were awesome this is definitely a fantasy adventure really taken into uh, un taken to the next level um, there's even a nod to American fans for the American release where the little boys watching TV if uh, they show a Russian dubbed version, a brief clip of the Buffy versus Dracula episode 
a Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and he he knows the vamp. He's scared of vampires, so while he's watching it, he's taking a piece of wood and trying to make a steak out of it, which was pretty funny, and it was a nod to American fans. Um, I highly recommend this one if you can find it. I I before this I hadn't heard anything about it, but when I was able to get it, I finally checked it out and watched it. And I said to say it was awesome. Uh, the special effects were awesome. Uh, the music was great. Everything was great about this film. It's very interesting. Now, I know, like, if anybody's ever read the books, like, they've allevi- alleviated a lot of the original content from the books and left it out of the movie, which is pretty common for books to be turned into movies that they leave certain things out or they turn the plot around a little bit or something like that. But for the most part, in general, it is enjoyable, and I do recommend this movie if you do see it. Well, that's all I got to say about Night Watch. Oh, also, Day Watch came out two years ago. I think it was released last year in the States, but I haven't seen it on DVD anywhere yet. Um, if you got, if any of you guys watch it, if you know, if you could tell me when it comes out or whatever, uh, I would appreciate it, and maybe I'll review that one. Well. Until next time.